We've now moved up into the upholstery shop. You saw the finished product in one of the motor homes, and now you can take a look at the skeleton. So right now you're looking at the headboard frame. It's welded steel, three-quarter inch square steel. Uh, you could see this one center latch to lock and unlock the headboard into place. And this cable that's running across through the frame is protected by a sheath. And this frame, it's where we are at today, but we've been through several iterations. So, Chris, would you like to share? Chris is our upholster. And would you like to tell us about the construction of one of these frames and where it's come and the iterations of it so far? Our previous design was a wooden frame that was hinged at the bottom. And because of the structural integrity of the metal, we've decided to go with the three-quarter tubing frame where we stretch an elastic webbing across the frame to give it a structural um, foundation for the fabric to be stretched over it. This headboard also can be used as a secondary seat facing outside the rear door. Uh, we're also incorporating some new tie-downs on the back of the headboard for your cargo on the extended version so that you can tie things to the back of the headboard. The, the headboard is typically going to be upholstered with a matching Naga hide or leather to match your interior. The outside will be upholstered with a Sumbrella furniture fabric, typically with the Advanced RV logo on it. And that's our new headboard. Uh, so thanks for watching this video and we hope you to continue watching many more.